people of tomorrow. Welcome to a miraculous story in the secret kingdom of Melodia. Show me to a higher place. Take me to outer space. Outer space. I want you to be my friend. We'll make it to the world ends. I know you're not hard on me, but. Uh, one advice, one very solid advice for finding a house is that please find a house. If you don't, please don't disappoint me. I'm going to marry you, so I'm going to do it. Okay? So one of the funniest moments I remember when uh, Moksha and I uh, went along with Pukhraj uh, to uh, uh, Goa. Pokhraj was all out and because as we know Moksha and I are hookah buddies so we were like all in chill mode do hell with Pokhraj so and we were like Pokhraj was sleeping in the bathroom and we were like chilling out with our favorite hookah so that is one of the most funniest inc uh, incidents that I could remember about Just a minute See, I gave you faith Turned your doubt into hope And can't deny it Now I'm all alone And my joys turn them open Tell me, where are you now That I need you I know Pukhraj since my uh, Most probably school time So it's been 10, 12 years now And uh, I have met uh, Moksha why Pukhraj only? We have gone on a trip. So yeah, that's how uh, we came along. Yeah, uh, I again, I am college college friend of Moksha. We met in the hostel. It was our first day of college. And we just randomly bump into each other and we're like, hi, let's be friends. And we're friends since then. <laughs> I want to give them a big congratulations, that is a side, but a kudos that they can handle each other and handle the stupidest of all the things uh, of each other. So Correct. Like we joke that, you know, I will give 100 rupees to Mojo, but actually I will give 1000 rupees to Mojo because he is going to marry Pukhraj. Exactly, <laughs> because it's like that dynamic. Yeah. Um, I met Pukhraj uh, in Goa and I saw him for the first time so it was raining heavily and we were at Baga beach and uh, we had just come out of the uh, sea and we were mo going towards the shack wherein Pukhraj enters who is apparently a friend of my very good friend Nishan and he enters and I just see him then and there. And there was, honestly, there was uh, nothing as such that, but, but you know, I just felt that, you know, hey, there's this guy who has just entered. That's it. I mean, that was the first impression that I got uh, after seeing him. But after that, we spent, I guess, three days in Goa 
wherein uh, the only way in which we bonded was uh, dancing all night in different clubs of Goa uh, and that is when I felt a connection with him because dancing is something that comes from within me and I found the similar uh, similar soul in this other person and from there our friendship began. So what had happened was in uh, 2014, five of us guys in the office we had decided for a trip to Goa and it was supposed to be an all guys trip and uh, there was one of our friends, uh, he had his girlfriend and, he, and we were supposed to secretively go to Goa but uh, he spilled the beans and then the girl was like, she was also our friend so she said that I'll also come. So we started with five boys. And there was this one girl, girlfriend of one of, one of my friends. Then there were two more girls. They were also our friends. And then uh, there was Mokshita and her friend Namrita. She is also here in the wedding. So these guys were also coming from Bombay. And Nishan, uh, who was the initial five people who were coming for the Goa trip, uh, the guy trip. And uh, he called them. And then we met at Baga Beach. And that time uh, we didn't talk that much but uh, that night we went to Mambo's and we danced for like 6 hours. Is a very he has a very beautiful soul that is that is something that I absolutely love about him he, he is a person who who does who, who is very selfless he cares about others he will not put his needs or himself uh, above others this is the kind of person that he is So there are a lot of things, but she never gave up on me. That is one, one thing. So in between, because like every couple fights and we have had our fights. And when in between, I thought that maybe it's better to stay apart, take a break and all of that. But she never actually gave up on us. She said that it is going to happen. Maybe one year, two years, three years down the line. But it is going to happen and it is happening now. So uh, we went to Thailand last year just before the lockdown and uh, then what had happened was we were supposed to keep a couple of our documents ready and uh, flight tickets and all uh, and hotel tickets and all maybe she forgot and because our, we had missed our flight so we actually our, our booking uh, kind of uh, had a hot push and because of that we for seven days we were staying at seven different hotels. Uh, no, actually I did not forget anything at that point of time. Uh, it was a very well-planned trip by me. Uh, no efforts from Pokhrad's end. Uh, but we had a ball of a time uh, and he, though he cribs about it, I know he loved the experience of staying at different hotels in on all the seven days. The reason we did that was because our first flight got delayed by some four hours because of this we missed our connecting flight. That is the reason and it, 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 has, it had got nothing to do with me being forgetful about something. <laughs>